Does anyone have a formal proposal? I do. Does anyone else have a formal proposal? <coughs> Stack is closed. Okay. Ah, proposal for dealing with violence and disruptive parties. This was promised to the GA at the last GA as part of passing uh, what we passed. Uh, whereby Occupy Richmond has consensed upon code of conduct that states the following. We earn our value within the community by the support, protection, and maintenance of it. We seek to make Occupy Richmond a safe space for everyone. We support and protect the rights of individuals to make and act upon their own individual decisions and choices with the understanding that these personal decisions should not substan <coughs> excuse me, substan endanger individuals or our community as a whole, and whereby we understand that our, the foundation of our community is in mutual respect of each other and our shared process for decision making and action, and whereby we recognize that our community will face crisis at times from the inside due to inordinately disruptive individuals. We propose a process for addressing disruption and potential or actual violence through de-escalation and other actions up to and including expulsion from General Assembly or the community as a whole. We propose that in order to encourage solidarity and with the intention of caring best for the group, the facilitation team include nightly an on-call de-escalation de member and at least two security members. If a member of the community proves repeatedly or unmanageably disruptive, the facilitation team on behalf of the group may at their discretion call for an immediate call for consensus to ask that the disruptive person leave General Assembly for the remainder of the night. A, said call would require traditional 90% modified consensus to pass B, a member of the community may use a point of process to ask the body to call for a vote of this nature if they feel facilitation is unable or unwilling to do so. If the proposal receives a second and a third, facilitation will call for a vote. C, if the call to consensus does not reach 90% modified consensus but is above 50% consensus, the person will be issued a warning which will be recorded in the meeting minutes. D, if the person accumulates three warnings over any period of time, they will be asked to leave the General Assembly for the night. The second time consensus, <coughs> the second time consensus is reached to ask member, is asked to leave GA, they will be required to not take part in General Assembly for three consecutive General Assemblies, including all other community or activities until those three general assemblies have passed. The third time, the third time consensus is reached to ask a person to leave general assembly. The person will be asked to leave general assembly and all other community actions and events permanently. At any time, a proposal can be brought to GA to invite a member who has been asked to leave permanently to return. I've forgotten to read the numbers. Here's number five. If a person is to ask to leave General Assembly, the on-call de-escalation facilitator will join the facilitation team and will serve as the point of contact with the person asked to leave. This facilitator will take the duty of speaking and dealing with the removed party until they have departed completely, ensuring normal GA proceedings can continue as planned. Number six. In the case that violence or any other action takes place at GA or at any other official event or action results in a member feeling unsafe in the community, a proposal must be immediately brought to ask that the person leave General Assembly and all other actions and events permanently. I'm sorry for typos. A, said call would require 90% modified consensus to pass. B, if proposal passes, all other activity will cease until the General Assembly has removed the person and has once again established a safe space. C, said person will not be allowed to return unless a separate proposal was issued and passed inviting that person back. The security team will be authorized to enforce this part of the process. 
using the minimum force necessary for the situation. Seven, in the case that violence takes place but 90% consensus is not reached to remove someone from the community but over 50% consensus is, a warning will be issued to the offending party and will be recorded in the minutes. Eight, the General Assembly at its discretion may enforce these policies retroactively if needed to ensure the safety of the group. Nine, for the purpose of this proposal, disruptive, action will be defined as, but not limited to, A, consistently interrupting other speakers, B, refusing to give up the floor when one's time limit to speak has ended, C, blatantly disregarding, wait, why am I talking, the assumption of competency and good intentions on the parts of others, and other collectively agreed upon good behaviors for General Assembly, D, blocking again and again and again. Some consensus models suggest a healthy limit of three blocks in a person's lifetime. So. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, so that is the formal proposal um, to deal with uh, people who would disrupt uh, our General Assembly. All right, should we take some clarifying <clears throat> questions on this? Clarify questions. Will um, this be something, uh, well, the code of conduct, I know this is an extension of that, and, um, and um, will we get into the practice of re being reminded of the code of conduct as we begin our um, GAs? So it will be understood that we are gentlemen and ladies and, and you know, to carry ourselves, you know, just so, I, I, you know, I think that's something that we forget to do. We get it together and we forget the refresher or reminder of how we conduct our business and our affairs. So I'm, I just want that to be something that's refreshed. If it's every week or every other week, every week with her, every time we come together. Not, maybe, not word for word, but the basis code of conduct. Okay, so. Are, are, is that a question, is that a request that that be somehow in, in the proposal? Um, or is it, is it a, more of a This is to be body? understood. This is to be understood. The code of conduct is something that should be verbally expressed, I think. You know, this is what to be understood, you know, and how, how we handle business. I think the code of conduct should be displayed or expressed. So we know we'll come into an official or respect respectable consensus, debate, form, however, but we have principles for how we do our business. Um, I'm actually, so, this, well, um, so what I think I'm hearing is it be, we should make a policy or a habit of posting, of bringing an actual printed copy of the Code of Conduct and posting it at our assembly meetings and possibly even incorporating into the welcome talking about one or two points per general assembly or something like that. This, this. Um, Okay. But I also think I'm hearing that you're not asking that that be actually be included in the proposal. Right, okay. no, sir. And I'm going to ask Ron to open a stack so that we don't get all mishmashy okay. on our... Just for clarifying questions? But, uh, just for clarifying okay. questions. I guess I don't have a question, but it's more of like an amendment. Well, is we, that we, we can get to that. That's, that's all now? No, right now, not just now. questions. Okay. okay. Clarifying um, questions. <clears throat> One, two, anybody else? Three. Jason. Uh, okay. It says number nine here. It says for the purposes of this proposal, disruptive. Uh, I stole this. Sorry. I get back. Uh, disrupt, disrupt, yeah. Disruptive will be defined as but limited to. Um, but not. But not limited okay. to is what I said. Okay, but it's not, not written to. that okay. way. But it's not limited. To but not limited to. I feel like um, all the all the, the 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 alphabet there really doesn't even need to be stated if you uh, have the language that says um, and other collectively agreed upon good behaviors. I feel like that's extremely open ended because um, you have you have maybe an A B C D and but other collectively agreed upon good behaviors is the rest of the alphabet. Um, and 
then some as well. So I feel like there might need, might need to be some clarifying uh, of, of what that statement actually means and what other what those other things are. Because if this goes into effect, we could um, just say that, you know, um, farting in the middle of the GA really loud, repeatedly, is bad behavior. And that person could be expelled, you know. <laughs> Uh, I, I, it's, it's funny, but it's not funny. It is. So that's my yeah. clarifying question. That are the, like, what, what are these other collectively agreed upon good behaviors, and how do we define what they are without uh, stepping on people's um, you know, moral codes uh, or like, things that they believe in? Thanks. <coughs> um, right. Is there, so I'm going to just like, do a meta moment and step out and say that um, uh, what I what I am kind of I, I helped write this proposal so I could answer some of these questions but I really don't want to because I don't want to do this bad consensus behavior where a presenter and a and a facilitator are doing the same things. So what I'm trying to do is redirect questions back to the body, which also connects to this consensus thing we were talking about, and a lot of people did tend to be in this side of the room. So the way I'm just letting you all know that I'm attempting to do this, and if I'm failing, please let me know. Um, but what I'm going to try to do with that question is, is make an attempt check. Do people feel like that, that phrase and other good behaviors is so vague that it makes this proposal scary or dangerous? Mm -hmm. I think, is, is that a good question to the body, Jason? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. So could people, so do they feel like that phrase needs to be cut and made more clear? That's, that's the question. Can you put your hands in the air if you feel that way? Okay, seems kind of mixed there. And then, I guess the other side of the question would be, do you feel that that phrase, the vagueness of that phrase, is a positive thing to this proposal? There's some less support of that, but a few people who are in support of that. Okay, so what I'd suggest is that, I think an amendment portion where we talk about it together is a really important thing for this particular proposal, and when we get there, we could propose some amendments for that section. Project. Yes. So just to point out, this is kind of what I'm talking about, is we're stuck to like not being able to discuss this, and I feel like it's a lot to digest, and I don't think any decision should be made tonight, but like a discussion could be helpful to figure out what the amendments are for the future, um, and I think we're kind of hampering ourselves right now with, 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 with the process. Um, so... Um, what I what I well then what I'll ask of the body there is, do we want to continue with clarifying questions because that help point of process actually. Oh, I was going to use Greg's hand signal to suggest that we call for a five minute break to discuss this in small groups, perhaps uh, maybe. In the capsule. Not perhaps right this instant, but before we go into amendments. Sure. So discuss the proposal in small yes. groups. Okay. Um, can, I, can I ask a quick question and then we go there? Um, so my question was, do we want to consider finishing out clarifying questions and then have kind of an open discussion about the proposal? Seems pretty positive that way before we then do anything else that may include small groups as well. Um, is anyone opposed to that? Um, do we have another clarifying question? Yeah, we had um, Jason was first, and then I, I don't know where to put it. I was to small groups. Yeah, but I thought we were already a small group. Like I feel like this GA is really small. Talking to the the whole group. Okay. So, clarifying question. Yes, I have uh, a clarifying question. I thought I heard you just say, and you say earlier, that that um, the motion that you brought the other night passed, and my understanding was that it did not pass. Of course, I mean, the, the uh, vote was taken, and I thought it failed, and I left. I there thought were still it, people here. Can what, I respond? No? We have plenty of information here, and then I'll let you, okay. then we can, you can do plenty of information. Um, this person scribed recorded it. Um, I recorded it as indeterminate because the vote didn't complete in a way that the facilitation team felt settled the matter. 
if this body can treat that how they want, they can say, well, no, actually, the criteria were fulfilled and the vote did take place the way that it took place. Um, at the time, we weren't sure. So many people left that prevented a revote that would have really cleared up the matter and that breach of process. We felt it tied our hands. So there was no no result of the vote? We could not determine the result. That's how we felt on the 70th. Okay. My, my understanding, I was the first person out the door. Um, when I thought it had failed because three people voted against it. And one of the moderators understood there were 28 people in the room, but there were actually 31 people in the room. So based on numbers, the three people that voted against didn't actually make that proposal fail. My feeling in my heart is that it passed. I ended up coming back because I left my phone on this bench and came back and collected Isaac and Ron and you know uh, drove them to my neighborhood um, after gathering my phone and I got the fill-in that we had actually prevailed. So that's my understanding of what happened. Explain the process. Sarah? Um, if, I don't know if we're talking about the proposal anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not talking about the proposal. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Um, we, we were actually taking clarifying questions. Yes. So, so who's next? Okay, so we open and close stack before. So do we want to reopen stack for clarifications one more time? I was supposed to be behind Jason for clarifying questions. Okay, well, you are the, yes, you are the last one. Okay. But we also have other hands up now. Let's finish out this stack. Okay, here. let's finish out first. Um, that's a lot to digest. Uh, I guess my clarifying questions were mainly revolving around an on-call de-escalation um, person. I was definitely wondering, is that just during the GA for that night? I'm, I'm not really sure about that. And, and the two security people? Um, so basically, those are the two things I want, I want to know about. It. Apparently, I've just been handed the proposal. Um, but basically, the on call, the on call de escalation, and the two security people, um, which I guess I'm about to read this. But <laughs> for anyone that's knowledgeable about it, um, uh, Phil Valedo has offered to do a security training for us. Anyone involved? Um, he's out of town right now, so that's not really effective uh, tomorrow. Although I got a couple of emails, one woman in particular emailed me saying that she was ambivalent of coming into last GA because she didn't want to exclude anyone, etc. But after hearing our testimonies, said she was willing to be security to stand outside of this house to keep Chris Dorsey from coming in. So I don't think we're going to have a problem um, having a security team. We've had one at Kanawa, and we'll, we'll have one here. Uh, do we want to open up clarifying questions again? I still have a follow on this. If, oh, okay. Like, would these people be able to vote? <coughs> are they, or are they part of the facilitation crews? Okay. Do yeah, I have a point of information here? Well, it was explained to me earlier that the, that the term on call means that they would be participating in GA and be able to vote unless they were called upon to go and de escalate the situation. Mm -hmm. So it's not like facilitation team where they wouldn't be able to vote. If participate since it's not really we hope it wouldn't happen every time does mm -hmm. it answer your on-call question it does it raises the concern <clears throat> What's the concern? a potential conflict of interest where someone who is voting against the person they're trying to de-escalate they have, end up having to de-escalate okay um, do we want to open up uh, another stack for clarifying questions Seeing anybody against that? All right, let's open another stack. All right. Um, one, two, three. Anybody back there? And then four. <clears throat> I didn't get You're a. You're a four. Oh, I'm four. Yeah. I'm sorry. We've already heard from you. Go ahead. 
Did everybody get their number? No. One. Okay. Uh, who else? Two, three, and four. Stack is now closed. All right. Uh, do we have a working definition of what unconstructive behavior is? Unconstructive. <coughs> unconstructive behavior, bad behavior, whatever. I think it's better to use the term unconstructive because it doesn't actually serve any purposeful end. Behavior like somebody just wanting to be heard all the time and yelling. We actually have a working definition. And also this whole security thing, if we have a consensus-based community here and we have a police squadron where we kind of isolate the authority to enforce the rules that we all make collectively, it seems to be getting away from the point of why we're here. Somebody uh, is, we all agree that somebody's behavior is unacceptable, then we all as a community enforce it. We don't yes. go, where's this guy? Where's this guy? Where's this guy? He needs to do, no, we're all there. Strength seems to be some support for that idea, mm -hmm. looking around the room. Um, for that clarifying question? Mm -hmm. Number two. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, I think Rich's uh, concern about a conflict of interest is uh, that the, uh, when, they, when the, they are on call, they then lose their right to participate in a, in votes, but but they could do they could. But, sorry. Oh, sorry. Were you? Oh. Gonna, oh, I was going to say what he just said kind of makes the whole security team oh, thing. Oh yeah. Point yeah. Point. yeah. A couple points of process. Okay. Where, I'm done. So, thanks. Sorry. I wrote. Okay. I'm just not hearing a lot of questions. Seems like. Okay. That's Valley. Yeah. 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 I guess not. It's more of just like an amendment sort of thing, or but okay. scratch it. Mark. <clears throat> uh, my question is, um, I guess towards Jason or to everyone about what Jason had uh, brought up our attention to about the um, the language of C it is um, blatantly disregarding weight. Why am I talking? Assumptions of competency and good intentions on the parts of the others and other collectively agreed upon good behaviors for general assembly. That's the clincher. If it's collectively agreed upon good uh, behaviors for general assembly, wouldn't that go back to the code of conduct? That's what already been collectively agreed upon. And so that's when you violate that, that calls for that. I mean, that language is suited for it. So I'm saying, would that not answer that for you? Yes, that sir. Um, would, but yeah, I, I guess other. Okay. So that, I, I, that's a question directed at one person, which isn't a question directed at the body. Well, so, but it, I think it's a good. It sounds like a good thing to look into when we get to that section. I think do we have anybody. We got one more. more. Well, I, I have a two-part clarifying question. My my first question that I asked earlier, I got two different answers to, and so I don't know yet what the answer is to that. And I suspect that there are others here who don't know what the answer to that is either. Um, the second clarifying question is, I guess it's more a, a point of, of uh, process than anything else. That this, is, this, is a, this is a motion that was put together by committee, people acting together. And it's a, it's a very long and involved uh, motion. And I'm wondering why, as a point of procedure, we don't make an effort to post this discussion on our web page. I wonder if that has been discussed. Um, that, that probably many of these questions that are being asked could be asked directly in that online process, giving two, two, two opportunities. One, an opportunity for the the builders of this motion to decide amongst themselves, since it's their motion, whether they're going to include it in the motion, but it would give the rest of us an opportunity to understand some of these questions that are going to be coming and be prepared to discuss them. I mean, I, I would have to abstain from this tonight, even though I think in general it's pretty good because uh, I'm just, it's, it's, it's an awful lot for my brain to, to, to get around. Do you, do you have a <coughs> um, My 
response is that it seems that um, you could switch another name in there, but Chris Dorsey Fitz at the moment has taken up my Sunday last and the Sunday before, five hours each. Um, we have determined as a group we would do something and prevent this from happening in the future. We know uh, testimonials that there are dozens of people that don't have anything to do with us anymore because of his presence. So I say, it's long, it's lengthy, let's pass it. And, um, you know, yeah, I, I sort of agree about the security uh, members, and I can understand how that would be uh, of a concern to people, but maybe you say security-minded members, you know? Not everyone wants to escort someone off the property. I'm okay with it, and I know others in here would be okay with it, but still our group, we're not hiring a uh, police force. So, so Rain, I think this is no longer in the context of the original question. What was the question? I'm saying, um, you're, you said you would abstain. That's what I was responding to. I, I'm just, I would like this proposal, which was asked for by the GA, to be voted on. And, um, so, so what I understand from what I heard Rain say earlier is that as a part of the proposal that a lot of people understood passed last time, there was language that said by this GA mm -hmm. there would be a way to enforce removing people from the GA. Right. And so I believe that's why there's something to present it at this GA and because people were so tired and frustrated and dealing with the other things during the week, the pulling together of this proposal happened today, essentially, the actual language of it. So this group, since this is the General Assembly, can absolutely table the proposal if it decides to do so and wait for another GA and give more time to work on it, or it can, but, but understand that the proposal is a, is a response to what the GA asked for mm -hmm. at the last General Assembly. And, and I would argue there, well, I'm not here to argue anything, sorry. Um, so now I think we're done with, uh, with clarifying questions, so we're going to go into a discussion. Are we totally done with clarifying, or I just have another issue? Just, is well, that okay? I, I wonder if we just go into open discussion, if that actually... Okay. People have been discussing a lot anyways, and if yeah. discussion might be an easier way to have this conversation, but there's a point of process. Can we go to a five to ten minute break, as Megan suggested earlier, and we temp check is positive before going into discussion? Temp check what is positive? Uh, having a break before discussion? I second that. Okay. Do we want to take a five to ten I minute? want to read the thing, so yeah. yeah. With copies of the I think we should all have copies of this. Or we should have this. There, there are several, Let's read it. There are several copies. How many copies there are and how many people are here? And break into this accordingly. Hold on. Hey, can everybody sit down for a second? Everybody, or at least like pay attention so we can figure out what to do for a second, mm -hmm. what the right thing is to do for the group, and that is because we didn't agree to take a break yet. Uh, there are four copies, so if we do break into groups, there are about 20 people here, so that's about five to six people per group if that's what we do. The question now is, do we want to break into, uh, break, take a break, break into small groups, discuss it amongst ourselves? for five minutes or so before returning to general discussion. If you're interested in that, please show your interest in that. If you're against that, please show that you're against that. Seems like there's a strong push towards small groups. So we're going to take a five